Hi everyone, in this video you have to find some limits using the definition of the limit. So in part A, this is our limit, limit tan inverse of 1 plus h minus pi over 4 divided by h when h goes to 0. So we can rewrite pi over 4 as tan inverse of 1, because tan inverse of 1 equals pi over 4. And this comes from the fact that tan pi over 4 equals to 1. So the limit will be limit tan inverse of 1 plus h minus tan inverse of 1 divided by h when h goes to 0. Now, this formula is the same as the first definition of the derivative so you have to create the function and a and as you know a equals to 1 this is a and the function is tan inverse of x so our function is f of x equals tan inverse of x and a equals to 1 so to find the limit this limit equals f prime of 1 so you have to find the first derivative then you have to plug in the value of a and the derivative function so f prime of x equals this is the derivative of tan inverse of x this is 1 over 1 plus x squared then you have to replace x by 1 because a equals to 1 so you will have 1 over 1 plus 1 which is 1 over 2 so this is the value of the limit for part b you have to take 3 as greatest common factor from numerator and put it out of our limit so the limit will be equals to 3 multiplied by limit secant inverse of w minus here we have pi over 3 because we take 3 as greatest common factor divide by w minus 2 when w goes to 2 now we can rewrite pi over 3 as secant inverse, secant inverse of 2 so uh, this will be limit of secant inverse of w minus secant inverse of 2 now this is the second definition of the derivative the function is f of x equals to secant inverse of x and a equals 2 because we have 2 up and we have 2 down so you have to find the first derivative f prime of x and the derivative of secant inverse of x is 1 over absolute value of x multiplied by square root of x squared minus 1 then you have to replace a equals 2 and you will get 1 over absolute value of 2 equals 2 multiplied by square root of 2 squared 4 minus 1 3 but pay attention here we have 3 which is the greatest common factor we took at the beginning of the solution so the limit will be 3 multiplied by 1 over 2 radical 3 and you can simplify 3 with 3 and you will get radical 3 over 2 and this is the final answer of the limit now in part C 
as in part B, you have to take the greatest common factor from numerator, and we have 9 here. So we have 9 multiplied by limit side inverse of radical 3 over 2 plus delta x squared minus pi squared over 9 divided by delta x when delta x goes to 0. After that we can rewrite pi squared over 9 as pi squared over 3 squared then we can combine them with one power so it will be pi over 3 all squared now as you know we can write pi over 3 as sine inverse of square root of 3 over 2 so this we can rewrite it as sine inverse of radical 3 over 2 all squared now you have to create a function the function is f of x equals to sine inverse of x all squared and a equals to radical 3 over 2 So you have to find the derivative of this function using the power rule f prime of x equals 2 multiplied by sine inverse of x to the power 1 multiplied by the derivative of the inside function and the derivative of sine inverse is 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared then you have to replace the value of a which is radically 3 over 2 and you will get that f prime of a equals 2 multiplied by sine inverse of square root of 3 over 2 it is pi over 3 multiplied by 1 over square root of 1 minus a squared when we square this quantity or this number it will be 3 over 4 and by using calculator this is equals to 4 pi over 3 now pay attention we have 9 outside the limit so the limit equal 9 multiplied by 4 pi over 3 you can cancel this with this and you'll get 1 here and 3 here and the final answer is 12 pi and that's it thank you